Hello friends, if you're part of the family, welcome back. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. It is Wednesday, October the 13th. I was not able to do one of these videos on Monday, but here we go. Let's jump right into the study. If you've been following me or following uh, these videos and you know that we've been going through 15 attributes of God, I went ahead and put the link to a website where I am getting all my information from. It's right below in the description box. And last week we talked about how God is gracious. Um, that was attribute number 12. Um, and today we're gonna do 13, which means we have only like 13, 14, 15, after, with the, including this one, I'm gonna have three more uh, studies and then we'll be done. And then I will let you guys know what we're going to study next. I'm thinking probably uh, a book in the Bible. I started the book of Colossians a few days ago and it has been fire. So I think maybe we'll do that one. Think about it. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Um, attribute 13. Um, today we're gonna talk about how God is loving. All right, God is infinitely, unchangeably, sorry, God infinitely, unchangeably, unchangeably, I can't talk, <laughs> loves us. Um, and this is something that I feel like we share a lot. Maybe this is an attribute that we share uh, quite often, maybe more than the other ones, that God is love, God is love, God is love. I remember going to so many vacation Bible schools growing up, and even when I take my kids to vacation Bible school, and sometimes when they bring things back, like souvenirs or like little prizes or whatever, and you see Jesus loves me, God is love, God is love. So I feel like this is one that we talk about a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into it today. So the verse that um, they included here is 1 John 4, 7 through 8. I love the book of 1 John. I think we've done it here in my channel. And it says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. We know what real love is because God loves us. Right? We know that in the Bible, it says in the scriptures as well. And we can see, right? we can reflect this like a mirror in our lives that we understand God's love by the way that we love others. Um, and seeing, yeah, how God pours his love on us unconditionally, and that is the way that we are to love others, right? The, great, the two greatest commandments, to love our God and then love and serve others, all right? So that is a measure that we're gonna see if we really do understand God's love. Um, and um, and we should be checking you know checking in on us daily and saying on our, in ourselves and saying how am I sacrificially sacrificially loving and bestowing love to others all right and that should be a mirror of how I see God how He loves me is how I'm to, um, to be loving others okay so love the word staggers before its task of even describing the reality right R C Sproul in his book. God's love. Oh, I didn't know he wrote a book about God's love. Interesting. I'm a big fan of R.C. Sproul, by the way. As with all attributes, we can only begin to comprehend God's love in light of his other attributes. The love of God is eternal, is sovereign, unchanging, and infinite. I love that. Because God is the definition of lo what love is. And, um, I remember being puzzled a while back uh, about knowing, okay, uh, God is love, and He is a definition of love, of love. But can people that don't know God experience love, true love? You know, um, people believe uh, people that are not believers, people who don't follow Christ, who don't love, you know, God, and are not aware of the real love. Um, and I was puzzled for a while, like, is that even love what they can experience? And learning about um, common grace, I have seen that it, that they can they can experience love um, because it is something again. It's a grace that God has given to all of His creations, all of His creation. Um, and um, but knowing that God is true love, I feel like they can experience it, but not to the extent that they they could. It's potential without knowing God. So um, it's kind of like a watered down version of love, I would say, you know, because God is true love um, and the way that he treats us and what he does. So I don't know, kind of think about, kind of think about that. Like we, I feel like we can experience or people that don't follow Christ can experience love. But it's like when you follow God, it's like, man, this is real love. This is like real 
concentrated love, you know? Anyways, okay, so I love it. It says that love, God, love, God's love is eternal. It's not just limited to this world, to uh, the earth, to our earthly lives, but it transcends to eternity. All right, it is sovereign, meaning it's all-knowing, it's unchanging, and it's infinite. Um, and one way I feel like that we can see, um, maybe eternally we're going to see even just even more what God's love is. Um, I look at my kids and how much I love them, and I am a true believer that a lot of all relationships that we have here in this world, they're but a mirror, they're but a gl glimpse, they're but a shadow of um, of what God's love is for us, right? So in scriptures, a lot of times we see, you know, if you love your kids, if they ask you for bread, you won't give them a stone. If they ask you for a fish, you won't give them a snake. Um, and you love your kids. So imagine the love that God has for you. It's even greater, you know, uh, the best, I, mean, I guess, even as a non-believer, you can see love by the way you love your children, your spouse. But again, it's just a shadow compared to the love of Christ, okay? Um, it is strange and beautiful, eccentric, sorry, it is a strange and beautiful eccentricity of the free God, uh, Tozer writes, that he has allowed his heart to be emotionally identified with men. Self-sufficient as he is, he wants our love and will not be satisfied till he gets it. Free as he is, he has let his heart be bound to, our, to ours forever. God's love is active, drawing us to him. I love that. We know love because he loved us, meaning he's the one who's drawing us into a relationship with himself through this love. His love is personal, okay? He doesn't love humanity in some vague sense. He loves humans. He loves you and he loves me. And his love for us knows no beginning and no end. So again, it's just looking at the biggest, uh, most um, obvious act of love that we can see God bestowed on us is in the cross. <laughs> the fact that he gave his only begotten son, Christ Jesus, who is God himself as well. Um, and he reconciled us to himself. He was the one who took that step we were dead in our sins, we were lost, and he stepped in and, um, and breathed life into us, and with his love awakened us, um, and it's his kindness that leads us to repentance, that love that we see in him. So think about that today, and just pray and say, okay, let me love others, not out of obligation, but out of an understanding, an overflowing understanding, knowledge of the love of God. Um, there is a book that I read, well, I read because I heard it on audio. I guess I heard it <laughs> on Audible. And my husband is reading it now. And it's called um, Gentle and Lowly. And it talks about Christ and the love that he has for his church, for us. And it does such a great job at depicting in detail verses um, to really, uh, really bring into light in a very unique way the love of Christ. And so I highly recommend you guys check it out. It's called Gentle and Lowly by Dane Ordlin, I think his name is. Anyways, again, Gentle and Lowly, highly recommend it. All right, guys, so that's about it. Stay tuned for a few messages from myself. Love you all, and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Hello friends, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to watch my videos. I put a lot of time and effort in filming these videos and uploading them and editing them for you guys. So it means the world that you guys are taking the time uh, to watch them. So first of all, thank you so much. There's a few things that I wanna share with you guys. They won't take long at all, I promise. So number one is I accept prayer requests. So if there's anything that you want prayer over, um, if you have a family or a friend that need, needs prayer, or if you're going through a situation, um, yeah, or for you, for anyone that you know, go ahead and comment below, or you can go ahead and contact me by emailing me or through social media as well. And I will definitely be praying for you and for your situation. Number two, if you are on social media, you should totally be following me. I'll go ahead and put my handler below, um, specifically Instagram and Facebook. I post a lot more content there, specifically on Instagram. Um, I post pictures of my family, of trips, of what I do during the day, recipes, outfits, just a lot more content there, and I have so much fun with it. So if you are on social media, go ahead and follow me over there. 
Number three, I have an Etsy shop where I design graphic t-shirts. Um, in the future, I'm thinking of maybe adding a few more items on there, but go ahead and check it out. They are comfy t-shirts, mostly faith-based, um, tons of different colors, and I love t-shirts. I live in t-shirts and I love designing them. So I've made this shop available for you guys, for you guys to purchase some really cool and comfy t-shirts that I have designed. So go ahead and check it out. The link to my Etsy shop will be below. And number four, last but certainly not least, if you are not part of this family yet, consider subscribing. We have so much fun here. I do my best to upload three days a week. I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mondays and Wednesdays is mostly Bible related. I do Bible studies and such, and we have fun in those days because we dive into the Word of God and we learn. Um, and Fridays is mostly for my girls out there. I do a lot of makeup hauls, makeup reviews, get ready with me, makeup tutorials. I also do recipes. I do so many things just about my life. And like I said, we have tons of fun on Fridays as well. So if you want to join us, if you feel like that's something that you would love to be a part of, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified every time I upload a new video. See, that was short and sweet, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.